Plasson had a, a, a niche business uh, making autoclave carbon fiber parts up in Bennington, Vermont, and they wanted to see if the technology they were developing had any traction for, for growing the business into the future. Having the opportunity to try and nurture and, and take a new technology to market, something that no one had done in the world, was just really intriguing to me. Well, the, the, the fuel economy requirements, the, the, the carbon emissions, um, the pressures that are on the car makers are really strong. They, between 2005 and 2025, they've got to, drop, they've got to more than double the fuel economy of the vehicles. Um, you can do that with different propulsion systems, whether it be hybrid, whether it be uh, turbo, whether it be all electric. But one thing they all have in common, they're all much more efficient if the car's lighter weight. And that's really what we're offering. One of the biggest challenges for carbon fiber is the cost. Uh, the cost of the material itself is not something we control at this point in time. What we can control is how long it takes to make a part. We can control how many people it takes to make a part. You don't want to scrap a carbon fiber part. If there's a defect in it, you want to fix it. The only way you can fix it is manually. With the new tooling technology, uh, we're going to have a much more stable process, a much more repeatable process a much faster process. Now the Rockwell infrastructure that, that we've put in place has really given us uh, uh, better traceability, line of sight to um, potential issues and potential solutions. We didn't have any visibility into our process. All of our processes were very manual, paper-based. We're manually collecting data on the floor, cycle times, things like that, but that data can be so you know, corrupted in a way, because it only takes one person to change a number and that data is really not that good. Um, plus you can only capture so much. Specifically, the temperatures that are used for curing the parts, for curing the product. If we wanted to look at that, we would have had to do that, we would have had to know that beforehand. Now, using the Rockwell software and Historian Vantage Point, uh, we're able to see that every single part post-process. We can understand uh, what happened. We have some analytics that we are able to use. The process is very complicated, so at night, uh, you know, I'm not here, I can't see what's going on, and the biggest thing for me was to be able to see what's happening at night, and they tell me everything with problems in the morning, and I try to figure out all day, and sometimes I can't get the machine to repeat it. So I need to figure out what's going on and I needed a way to track that data. And that was my main um, purpose of using Historian. Well, we're well up over 70% automated and then within six months we'll probably be over 90% automated. That is key. That is key for driving out scrap. It's been really invaluable to me to get a snapshot of where we are for the engineers to fully understand um, and trace root cause, and for the finance team to understand what it really costs to make a part. So it, it's been terrific for us.